Hi and welcome to the Home Engineers channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is ring mandrels. This is a parallel mandrel with a very very slight taper right at the very very end which is just here. What this allows is this has got to be a very good fit on the actual component that you're going to be machining and in this case I've bought up these trunk guides for a Foden steam engine um, to a very accurate one inch hole. So I've then turned the mandrel to exactly one inch. So it's just a very, very nice slide fit onto there. And then at the end of the taper, uh, so the end of the mandrel, there is a one degree um, taper, which actually creates the drive for the component being machined. Um, there's several advantages of this is a, when you've got a difficult shape component to hold, uh, it means that everything can then run concentric. Now what I had to do is I've had to turn the end off of uh, this casting here. And this is what I've got to do with, with this one here. So I've actually set it up and turned this end first. Then I was able to hold that in the three jaw chuck to then bore the hole out in, inside. Um, then it's quite difficult then to sort of hold to do the other end because obviously I've got to turn this down and um, machine that so i'm going to then put it onto this this mandrel this one i've already um, put on the mandrel and machine as you can see so i'm just going to share with you how <coughs> i put it on now this, this is cast iron and obviously it doesn't really like um being uh, in com compressed and because obviously i put it onto taper um i don't want to make it crack but I am going to tap the casting onto the mandrel just with a with a mallet you only need some light like taps that then is then held hopefully onto the mandrel there we go it won't move now and then we are then able to machine the end of the the, the, the cast in and also because I've got the gap in there and I was unable to get a ream all the way down through the cast in <clears throat> um, and because this is going to be running concentric because obviously I've turned it through I can then ream <clears throat> the hole when it's ready to once I've faced it all back to the end I can put the ream through because I've also got a gap in the back there for the reamer to <clears throat> come through sorry come through Taper is holding that and, and driving that cast in, and that's a 20 thou cut, so um, that's half a millimetre um, depth of cut from facing off, and it's driving it um, without it slipping. 